Hello and welcome to this Adobe Express lesson all about pollination. And today we're gonna to create a video that shows our viewer all of the steps in the process of pollination. So to start with, I'm gonna press the plus in the top left and I'm gonna go down to video. Now, as we can see along the bottom here, we've got our timeline. So this is where we're gonna put our clips in order or our videos in order. On the left here, this is where we can add different content into our video. And we're mainly gonna be using media today and text. So these are the two to look out for. So to start with, I'm just gonna get some videos that demonstrate the steps in the pollination process. So you'll probably remember uh, that many plants cross pollinate, which means that pollen from one flower needs to transfer to another flower. And this happens through pollinators like bees and butterflies. So to start with, uh, I'm on media videos. And here where it says search video, this is where I can search for my different video clips. So I'll use words like flower and bee to try and get the right videos for my pollination process. Uh, so to start with, I'm just going to type in flower because the first step in the pollination process is just that a flower is brightly colored and fragrant. So it smells nice and this attracts the pollinators like bees. So uh, I can hover over some videos and I get a little preview of them. Lots of nice ones to choose from. Uh, I think this one looks quite good. So this has been sped up. We can see the flowers actually flowering and then we can see all of that pollen inside. So down here, we've got on our timeline, we've got our first clip. To add another one, we can press where it says add scene. Now I'm gonna search for bee, and what I really want is I want a video of a bee landing on a flower. So I'm just gonna hover my mouse over the different videos. We've got a bee uh, climbing around a flower here. Uh, this one looks good. This has a bee actually landing on the flower, so this would be good for the second step in the pollination process. So I'm just gonna click on this one. So there we go. Now, if we look at our timeline along the bottom, we can see we've got the first step in our pollination process and we've got the second step in the pollination process. So now I'm just gonna go through again. Uh, along here at the end, you can see it says add scene. So I'm gonna press add scene and then add the next scene and I'll press add scene and then I'll add the next scene until I've got maybe five clips that show the process of pollination. So there we go, uh, I've just added five clips or five scenes that demonstrate the pollination process. So at the start, we've got uh, our brightly colored and fragrant smelling flowers attract the pollinator. Our next clip is the bee landing on the first flower. And of course the pollen uh, attaches to its body. Uh, obviously the bee is trying to go and find nectar to drink. The pollen gets stuck on its body. Uh, then we have it flying and landing on the second flower, the next flower. Uh, and of course, once it's in there, it's trying to get the nectar uh, and the pollen from the first flower uh, transfers onto the second flower. So from the male part of the first flower to the female part of the second flower. We can see we've got our timeline. If you look at these times, uh, it's telling us these clips are quite long at the moment. So we wanna make them a lot shorter, probably make each of them about five seconds. So to do that, I just drag the end of the clip here till it's around about five seconds and I can do the same for the rest of them. So there we go, on our timeline there's our five clips. This black thing is the playhead which I can move around. Basically if I put the playhead at the start and press play, we'll watch the whole video. We can pause it. If we put the playhead in the middle of our video and press play, it would start our video from the middle of the video. So we've got our five clips. It'd be nice now to add some music. So uh, over here on media, instead of videos this time, we're gonna go to audio uh, and we're gonna make a search. Uh, you could look through here, the library um, in the different categories, but I'm just gonna do a search. Uh, I'm gonna search for Epic and see what comes up. Uh, this looks good, a world full of surprises. Uh, it seems quite fitting. So you press the play button here to have a listen. I think that sounds good. Uh, it seems suitable for our video. So I'm just gonna click on the words here and you'll notice now it's added the song to our timeline. So let's just press play. Let's just uh, see what that might look like. Great, I think it's looking really nice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some text just to explain some of the science of what's happening at each step of the pollination process. 
So uh, for the first clip, I want to make sure my playhead is at the start and I'm gonna add some text. So I go to text over here and I'm gonna press add your text. Uh, and we're just gonna write a sentence explaining what's happening in the first step of the pollination process. So there we go. Uh, I'm just gonna put the text over here. It'd be nice to choose our own font, which is the way that the words look, the style. So make sure you've got the text selected um, and you can go up to here and you can choose uh, one of the styles here that you like. Here we go, I like this one, finesse, this looks good. If I wanna make the text smaller, I can just drag this little circle uh, in the corner there and just maybe put it somewhere where I can read it a bit better. Maybe there's quite good. Um, I could just make it stand out a bit so I could add a shadow behind it by pressing shadow uh, or I could add a shape behind it if I prefer. Um, at the moment the shape is yellow but you can change the color of that if you like. Uh, so go to the shape fill and go to custom and then you can kind of make it whatever color you want. There we go, I think that kind of fits that slide quite nicely. Uh, so that's the text on our first slide. Now we're going to go to the next step in the pollination process. And this is the bee landing on the first flower. So you'll probably remember how to add text. We go to text on the left and then we go to add your text at the top here. So there we go. We've just said the pollinator, the bee, lands on the first flower. Uh, so again, I might put this over here. If I pull this little handle there. Uh, now obviously this one we can already read quite well. So I might just leave that like that. And now I'm going to go through and write a sentence for each video clip uh, about that step in the pollination process. So there we go. Let's have a quick watch of our video and see if it works for our audience. Press the play button here. So there we go, I think that was really good. It very clearly demonstrates the process of pollination. So uh, when you're finished, you can press download and you can download this video. Uh, or you could press share if you wanted to share it to Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams. Um, or you could press publish to web and that would create a link which you can share wherever you like. Uh, so there you go, that's how you very easily make um, a video showing the process of pollination. Uh, and now it's your turn to have a go at making your own video.